<laughs> All right, disclaimer before we start this entire video. We did self-tan, didn't self-tan our hands, so you're going to see a really bad transition from our arm to our hands this entire video that will be really distracting. Please do not comment about it. I am very We are very aware of it, and we know that we look <laughs> ridiculous, but we promise we don't normally look like this, and we know what we're doing. We promise. So just don't look at, well, now you're going to look. I don't really care. Just Whatever. don't comment about it, because I'm really scared. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Hey guys! It's Oswald and Aisha, and we're doing a sit down video today because um, it is this time of year. What? It is a time of year where people have committed to colleges, <laughs> and, and I remember when I committed to FIT, I was doing a lot of research on YouTube, trying to watch oh, I was that went stalking there. people that went there. And that's why there were like a few YouTubers that like when I went to school, I would like look for them and be like, oh my god, they go here. And we saw some of them too, which is a fun part. Yeah, because they go to our school. <laughs> we were getting we a so crazy amount of DMs from, comments. yeah, from people that either committed to FIT and um, knew that we went there or um, people that found us on YouTube and said that they want to be friends or yeah. they were asking us questions in our DMs. So um, we decided we answer um, questions about FIT because um, we get a lot of questions actually about it and we noticed that our school videos are very appealing to most of our audience. Yeah. So to those people that are wondering that want to apply here or that already committed, we're going to be answering the most asked questions about the school and our Telling experience. Telling you guys a little bit more about it and yeah. how we like it. So before I start, um, I'm just going to give a little backtrack about FIT and getting in there and like our experience so far. So we are freshmen, we are in our second semester, um, which means that for the incoming freshmen, mm -hmm. we'll be in our sophomore year and then they will be freshmen. Yeah. So, um, first of all, the one thing I have to say about FIT is it has changed my sense of style so much. I have found out and experimented with so much yeah, different that's like, fashion sure. and I get to see what I really like and I feel like my outfits this year have really got to be me, which I love. Like, it makes me so happy. Yeah, something in high school that I feel like a lot of people could deal with is um, you want to fit in. Like, even, even at college, you want oh, to fit yeah. in. But when it comes to being yourself, it's very hard to do that in high school without getting judged. The thing about FIT is because everything is about your yeah. sense of fashion, no one judges you for wearing six inch uh, heel boots to school, which I will gladly do because I enjoy doing it. So um, you really get to embrace what you wear and not oh, yeah. feel insecure when 100%. you're wearing it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So for the first topic we want to talk about is how we got in because this was a big question exactly. for a lot of people that um, are wanting to apply maybe next term or looking into it. This is a question that we want to answer for you guys. We originally applied to get into their film and media program, but it was a very tiny program. They only accepted 25, 25 students. students in the whole program yeah. out of all their thousands of applications. And their most common programs are fashion business management, advertising and communications, advertising and like fashion, and oh, advertising and marketing communications, and then there's like fashion, fashion design, design which is like, a pretty big one. Yeah. yeah, so we wanted to go to the business school if that was our second option. So after applying for the film and media program, we were actually waitlisted. This was after we found out they only accepted 25 students. If we knew that, we wouldn't have applied for that program we would probably would have applied for a different program but things didn't really turn out in our favor we were really upset finding out they only accepted that many students but after having the help of our principal and we kind of gave an extra portfolio went to school multiple times pushed for our spot because we really wanted to go we made like an extra like a film media like video kind of like because you guys know we make youtube videos we edited a video for the school i wonder school. if that was ever watched i don't know we, we gave, literally gave a whole folder of like companies we worked with yeah. like a whole thing of like extra things that they looked at and i guess they were kind of impressed so we talked to our principal at our high school who was able to get in touch with their like um admissions, admissions like uh okay. team stuff like that and they were able to talk it out and um, give us a spot in their advertising and marketing program, marketing communications program. Um, that was honestly my second choice. So after yeah. my principal told me about that, he called me like because I gave him like my number so he can like get back to us and all this stuff was happening. And he goes like, I'm really happy to tell you guys that you were actually accepted into a different program. Someone from the school will be calling you um, in like about 10 minutes to tell you the news. Yeah, and it was kind so, of funny because this it was, this was like May or June. This is probably June, I think. This is right and after it, we committed to a different school. Right. So we already committed to uh, our community college. So. It was like a week before um, graduation. People kept asking us, so like, where are you going? And we're like, we don't know yet. Yeah. So um, while those kids are already committed. Right. So when we told everyone that we were going to FIT, they were super excited, super happy for us. Um, another thing I want to say, though, is if you are new to our channel, um, just to throw this in there at the beginning in case you guys, you know, want to get to know us a little bit more. We've been doing YouTube for six years, and um, we really are into film and stuff like that. So we were hoping we could go into that in college. But we also love fashion, so that's why we decided to pick this mm -hmm. as our major. Um, also, follow us on TikTok and stuff. Just a little shout out, a little self promo <laughs> at the beginning, because I know it's probably going to be a lot of yeah. people watching us for this video. Um, yeah, we're on TikTok a bit, we're on Instagram, so definitely go check us out on there. And if you send us a DM about it, we'll definitely answer your questions about college if you mm -hmm. have any more, even after yeah. the end of this video. 
But uh, yeah, so that's how we got into FIT. It was a very difficult situation, but I just do want to say though, if you are going to get waitlisted, do not just sit there and wait. Try your best to reach out as many times. Push be right. annoying. Be annoying. Literally, they're gonna be so annoying. Right, because so you want to show them that you're really passionate and that this is your number one choice and it'll give you better chances. Yeah. So the second question was, um, what are we majoring in? We already told you guys we're majoring in advertising and marketing communications. It is more broad than you would think. So basically we're in the two week uh, associates program, uh, two, two, two year, whoa, <laughs> two year <laughs> associates program. And then after that, you can go into a more specific major after mm -hmm. those two years. Um, there's like a good selection. So it tells you like out of the credits that you've received, what you could go into yeah. after that without losing, you know. Credits. They do a lot more than just fashion, believe it or not. They do a lot of business. They have like, uh, the schools split up into I think like four different schools, they call it. They have like their um, Patty Baker's uh, school, like a business, business and they school, have like the actual uh, design, design school. school. They have like a whole bunch of stuff. There's so many good like art programs and majors. There is, they even have like, design. design. They have a yeah. crazy stuff like that. Jewelry, like definitely go on their website, check out their majors before you uh, apply to one. Cause that's another thing about FIT. You cannot apply undecided. You have to apply into a major and you cannot move out of that major. So make sure you're doing a lot of research before you actually do your application. Well, if you already did it, I guess you already know what you're doing, but um, yeah, I really like that it's kind of dedicated and you don't really have to take prereqs the first like two years. You're taking major classes the, as soon as you walk into the school, yeah. which is another thing. Also, the thing about FIT is it's a very um, passionate, it's a very like competitive, competitive driven school. So everyone that goes there kind of knows what they're going into and what they're looking for. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it might seem intimidating if you first go in and I know I like intimidated. Yeah. Like, you feel like, oh my God, everyone has their life figured out. We don't, but we do know what we're passionate about. So yeah. like, it's oh, very yeah. pas a very passionate school. Like, you know what you want, it's very artistic, all that kind of stuff. So definitely, if you feel like that's where you belong, you'll fit in perfectly. Like, also, you know if you belong or not. If you're yeah. nervous about going into there like blind and you feel like everyone knows what they're doing, trust me, everyone's faking it. No one knows what they're doing as soon as it's all, it. yeah, honestly, it's a lot all of an act. Confidence. Everyone tries to fake their confidence when they first walk in. So if you feel very nervous and you feel like you're the only one there that feels that way, I promise you, you're not. Trust me, everyone is going in there not knowing anything, like, I mean, maybe they know some stuff because they know someone that goes there, but trust me, you're That's pretty much it. in the same boat with everyone, so don't be too nervous about it. Okay, this question seems to be a big topic about FIT because it's a very, I guess you could say competitive or like, like, driven school, like I said. A lot of people ask us, is it hard to make friends or are the people mean? Here is the thing about making friends. I would say that you have to make the first initiation. Yes. Don't be afraid, don't yeah. be waiting on someone to come up to you or don't be waiting for like something magical to happen where you'll become friends with anyone, anyone. Basically, okay, I'm gonna and I know quiet. you're shy. We were definitely shy when we first went in there. We went and look it because we talk on camera like crazy. But when we first walked into the school, <laughs> I'll remember, we had like no, we didn't know anyone. We only knew each other, that was it. And one and we got lucky we even had each other, honestly. Yeah, because a lot of people imagine not. that one. Right. So here's the thing about FIT. When you guys have orientation, this is really important. Take advantage of orientation, and that's kind of where everyone's beginning to open up to each other. So I feel like that's kind of where friend groups begin in a way. So if you also get, in your classes, but a lot of it a lot of it is orientation for sure. So basically, at orientation, you get split up into groups where you walk around with them, and they kind of show you around in a specific group. Um, Explore, they do fun games and stuff, talk to random people. That is so fun. That is, how, is so fun. Yeah, that is honestly how you find people like crazy because that's where people will ask for your Instagram, you make connections with them, this mm -hmm. and that. And do it do it with people in the same interests as you. Like if a person is in the same major or if they're commuting or if they're um, living in the same dorm room, like do it based on that so you can really like connect with them on that level. Like I remember when we had an orientation the first day when it was lunchtime, we had to go to the cafeteria and eat lunch but there was no tables open yeah and i remember we saw these two girls they were they were like really pretty and they were like talking to each other and they had two chairs next to them i was looking at aisha i was like go like ask them face next to them did i ask so i remember i went up to them and i was like hey like i was wondering if you'd like me to sit here and they go we were just looking at you two we were hoping you would come here and ask we're like then we were literally started like smiling like, cheesing so hard like they were like yeah like, we didn't have any friends either it was just us two so we're so happy you guys came up to us like see you don't know if someone like will, what, what they'll say because after we went up to them they were like we were hoping you guys would come here and like say hi and like yeah. be friends so now i'm still friends with them i follow them on instagram we hung out a few times and they're just 
it's just nice to make friends like that and I get if you're shy it's hard to do that stuff that's why I also say I recommend going to like um, the Facebook pages that they make they make like 2020 class 2024 class uh, Facebook pages where you get to post it by yourself and everyone can like follow each other's Instagrams or make snapchat group chats for commuters that was a really exciting time it's, like this is a fun time this, like, is if a you fun time. In, this is a fun time so definitely do a lot of this like go on the FIT hashtags to find some people that go there or search more YouTube videos like it's great that's how you make friends to make connections like that so definitely do like your digging on like Facebook um, like pages and stuff like that. right and also if you guys do want a little bit more insight about what it's like in the school and like the campus surroundings we're gonna link all of our uh, college videos down below we have like a good amount of them like maybe like, like vlogs of like school. vlogs of because you guys seem to love those but um we have all those linked down below you can see what it's like on campus and our experience at least um they'll be down below so definitely check those out so as for their classes there um most classes i think run like this it's usually so if you're taking a three credit class the credits go by hours so if you're taking a three credit class you're most likely taking that class three hours per week so it can either be um, you're having it just on a Tuesday for three hours or it splits up into two days but a majority of other classes will run once a week so it's a three hour class depends on I guess certain classes that aren't don't run that way but a majority most of them run like that some of them so, will be like an hour and a half two days a week or you have the option of taking online classes yeah so we have um, have taken both in class and online um, all I have to say about the classes I have never had one bad professor yet they were all understanding they want to get to know you and they're the most important so thing. sweet I love all the teachers I've had yeah the great thing about FIT is that most of them are not full-time professors yeah most of them are actually like part-time professors full-time doing whatever they're teaching so yeah. like for example my our marketing teacher mm -hmm. he only teaches like two three classes but he's he does marketing as for a living so a lot of the professors there are able to give you their real insight about the work that they're doing and it's very very interesting to hear about their experience in that field and you get so, to network with them which oh, is yes. great like i know a few of my professors that have told me like once you like are looking for something for a job or internship like shoot them an email like for whatever like company you want to work with or they can get you connections like that that's, that's also sure. what professors are for and that is the biggest thing about college guys network meet Networking. people there's so many clubs and stuff like that that's another thing clubs and friends and teachers and staff literally just become friends with all of them literally listen. networking and meeting people will is life that's how you get careers that's how you get internships that's yes. how you get jobs listen to this for anyone that's not living in new york now and you're about to come into new york and dorm you listen like, take this in you are in new york you got an opportunity you have you have Crazy so city. much opportunity. We get to work for New York Fashion Week. That's literally things that they give us. They're letting us work in New York Fashion Week and we don't have to try it. It's just like a full-on internship. Like you just go enjoy yourself. There's so much opportunities. You have to take advantage of everything you get. Make connections. You're in New York City, the heart of Manhattan. You can do so much. Definitely just don't sit there and try to get your credits over with. Take all the opportunities you can get because you're a college student. Most of your time when you're not doing classes is you're gonna be in bed. So and also take that time to like pick up something or like learn something. Yeah, it's huge because FIT you're in a you're in a city you're in manhattan that is something that I, it's just crazy to me because a lot of campus life or normal college experiences you're on campus all the time you don't have the city but for us you can literally walk outside and you have you can walk a few blocks and you're there in times square or you walk the other way and you're in central park you can experience so much in fit just by walking around like you're in take advantage of your location and where you are and, and understand that that like think about it that's where a lot of people go for jobs new york and california or like chicago you're in a, a huge city this is and really for, big yes and for us we do not dorm at fit we are commuters so it takes us about like listen to this it takes us two hours to get to school but because of how much we love it we don't mind it at so all. if you guys um want to see us on campus we will be there three days a week next semester you guys in the we, fall just dm us so i'm sure we'll love to talk to you guys about it but um we'll talk more about that later but yeah so even though we commute we take advantage of the time when we are in manhattan so if you guys are dorming you have no excuse just do what you gotta do yeah make friends like oh, i love it there i really do i love FIT. i love FIT i love so it so much. much i don't care what anyone says okay next one oh, i already told you guys get involved with location benefits obviously the area you're around okay the next thing is because we made school videos in the past um and we made videos about like wanting to go to FIT before going to FIT 
a lot of people from FIT recognized us when we went to school. So we got like a lot of people come up to us saying, oh my god, I love your videos. videos. Or like, it was funny because we had instances where like they come up to us and be like, oh, I was shy to come up to you because like, I don't know. I, was I know, it's so funny. I'm like, okay, I want to say this real quick. There's a lot of people at FIT that could look very intimidating. For example. Everyone looks intimidating there. Trust me, I feel it too. It's okay. Like if you see me and Oz was sitting there like this. We're not mad. We're not mad. We're that's okay. just our resting face. We're fine. <laughs> and we genuinely love talking to you guys. So if you ever see us on campus, don't make it seem like, what if they're mean to me? Like, what if they don't want to talk? And we'll never push you away. We'll never. Ever. I promise you that. Ever. We will. You know how many times I'm talking to someone and I'm just like, just pull a chair over and we just hang out. And then they're like, you're actually nicer than I thought. I'm like, wow, we look so intimidating. Like, we're really not. Like, like I just want, if you guys are going to FIT and you see us on campus, don't hesitate. Please come say hi. We're not afraid to talk to you guys about FIT or whatever you want to talk about. Follow each other on Instagram. Um, I don't know. Know. <laughs> it's just, you will learn the first week you're there, maybe you'll feel intimidated, maybe you're intimidated now, but I promise you, get to know people, get to really feel the school out, and you will love it. Because I just I look forward, not even that, but it's just you're in the city. The city makes me so happy. Like, commuting might be two hours from me, and I might have to wake up super early and come home super late, but I, it's worth it because I, I actually have fun at school, and it doesn't feel like school. And it really I don't feel it. like I'm going to school. It doesn't feel like I'm being forced to go somewhere. I feel like I'm going there optionally because I have fun. So, also, one more thing about FIT, not one more thing, I'm sure we're going to have more things to bring up, <laughs> but FIT is very, very diverse. So, there's a lot of people, oh, foreigners, yeah. there's a lot of, I mean, not foreigners, a lot of international students. So, I know that FIT has one more campus. It's uh, in South Korea, I think. It is. They have two, no, they have two or three. No, they, they have two campuses. Where's the other one? No, it's South oh, Korea. Oh, so there's South Korea and then there was one in New York. So there is a lot of um, Korean um, international students that are coming to learn and even every country all over, the world. all over the world. So it's crazy to like get insight on different cultures, the way people live. Like You hear different languages left and right. The style. The style that some of these kids have, literally so inspirational to me. I will look at them and, and they literally probably have on... Whether it's cheap, whether it's expensive, you look at them, you're like, they are powerful. Yeah. Like, they hold status to them, like, just by the way they dress. And you don't have to be fancy. You don't have to have designer things. No, it's about first thing, week, making something of it, even. Make make your make. own style. Make your own fashion. Or if you are inspired by someone, take that from them or ask them questions. Yeah, and I'm gonna... You learn so much about yourself going right. to school. I feel like I have learned so much about myself and yeah. what I like just by going up. For example, I'm gonna pop up some pictures over here of what our fashion style used to be like in uh, high school. Um, we dressed nice, but it was just like kind of, it was more on the basic side, like just the basic simple pieces that I would wear. And now I'm gonna show you guys pictures of the style that we've created at FIT. Um, you honestly get so much inspiration off of uh, the people that you see. And honestly, at FIT, I've become very inspired by streetwear style. Me so too. I want to start like it, you gotta like it's a process. You learn about what you like, what you don't like. For example, I used to hate what are they called bucket hats. I love to see the way people dress them up, and I'm like, it's just crazy. Like what you can you look at someone's outfit, and I don't know. It's just so inspirational. I feel like I'm walking in a museum it's full sick. of people and like, walking. It's crazy. So I just. And whoever, if you're thinking about going there, if you're going there, I cannot express to you how lucky you are, how lucky I am. I can't even, sometimes I can't even believe I go there because I love it so much. I remember when, okay, so when we were originally waitlisted, this is a, like a little funny story. When we got waitlisted um, and we committed to our community college, which we really didn't care to go to, like we just kind of BS'd it. We were like, you know what, this, our life's going to suck. I remember we were um, on the bus home from, we were, go, we were coming home from school, high school. Uh -huh. And I said to you, no, 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 this is what it was. We were in, we were, okay, no, we were in the city and we were just got off the train and we were kind of close to uh, the school, but we were in Manhattan. We were in uh, Times Square. Uh -huh. I said to him, like, can you imagine, like, this is us going to FIT? Mm -hmm. And then he looked at me, we were like, oh, I wish, like, if only we could do that. Can you imagine what it would be like? I do remember that. And do you remember when I said that? I do remember like, straight that. Straight up. And I was just like, I got so sad. I'm like, I looked around and I'm like, this could be my life. And here I am, like I'm living my dream. Also, if you like a little orange, we did self tan because of quarantine. <laughs> That's why I'm so. trying to cover my hands. I know you guys probably saw my hands. I didn't tan my hands. Anyway, we're going through it. Um, I want to say one thing. One more thing, or like a couple more a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just so much to talk about for FIT. Um, oh, if you guys ever want to like ask us questions about where we get our clothes from, because personally, I'm not the type of person that likes to spend a lot of money on clothes. I'm kind of cheap in that sense. I wish I could buy designer stuff, but sis is not balling like that. I'm a college student who's going through it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, no, like obviously going to college, I know a lot of kids are on budgets and it's hard because of 
to have a job. You're, you're in Manhattan for crying out loud. Like, you gotta watch what you're doing. Yeah, so there. styling is can be difficult, but I do suggest to so many thrift stores in New York City in general or stores where you can find hidden gems. You guys. We should do that one day. Where we just like a bunch of FIT kids go thrifting yeah. together. That'd be so fun. Another thing, okay, can I just say a little tip that I learned? What? Like, this is just a throw in there. If you want to up your fashion game without pieces of clothing, accessorizing has changed oh, my life. Oh, I, I know you get lazy to change your earrings and you want to keep those studs in all the time. No, take them out and buy new earrings because sit, Where that these? changes it. Okay, I think you always have to go to FIT or work and people ask me about my snake earrings. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it, but these earrings that I'm wearing now, I get questions about it trillions of times and it makes my outfits look a hundred times better than they are. Accessorize. Literally Zoffle, not even ten dollars. No, this thing is four bucks. Four dollars. There you go. Just take advantage. Do do research. Don't think that you need the best things to be there. You don't. You can Everyone make nothing. Too. You can make something out of nothing. Mm -hmm. That's what. That's literally FIT for you. You can make yeah. something out of nothing. Okay, so one of the last things I want to mention is a close friend of mine, and I want to give her a little shout out for this video idea because she mentioned it, and I was like, oh shoot, like that's so smart, smart. because people have been getting um all oh, we'll getting letters, or, yeah, we've um, been getting questions about it. So Kiara, we love you. If you guys are, that's like our best friend. She goes to FIT too, so if you see her on campus, please say hi to her. Her videos and her channel will be down below. Um, we she just she also makes YouTube videos. She goes to FIT. She has amazing content. She's a genuine sweetheart. Love that girl with all my heart. So I think she's also making an FIT video as well. Yeah. So definitely check out her channel and subscribe to her because she is literally the best person. And if you're wondering how we became friends, she literally DM'd us on Instagram saying, I need friends, you want to hang out? And we're like, boom. Literally, I think it was the second day of orientation or was it like the first, a few days of school? Three, three, she three, she three. literally DM'd us and said, hey, like, I was wondering if like, we can get lunch. So we literally went to lunch that day. Best friends instantly. Literally, right. the first time we met her was right outside of the school. I was about to go to get food. Like literally, what's the worst thing that could happen by you reaching out to someone on Instagram or saying something by DM? Asking someone to be friends. The worst thing that happen is they say no, they don't answer. Okay, you move on. Most likely they will not do that anyway because they probably need, they friends, probably too. need friends too. So don't be afraid. Try to message people and network and just have fun. If you guys do have any more questions about the school or our experience, comment them down below or like I said, shoot us a message on Instagram. Um, we'll try to answer them all. It's just yes. a little hard. But in general, all I want to say is if you did get in, good luck. Congratulations. Congratulations. You deserve it. You, you deserve it. And you're going to have an amazing experience. And sometimes the school isn't for everyone and they realize that. But if you know what you're going for and you're passionate about it, I am sure you will like it. And like we said, don't forget to come say hi to us. If you see us on campus, we will not turn you away. We will give you guys the biggest hug ever. And we love you guys so much. We, okay, the thing about us is we're very much people, pe people, 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 people. I'm a person. We're both people persons. Is that right? I don't think so. We both like to talk. Yeah, so you, there won't be any problems with us being awkward or no, like not talking to you. It should be fine. It'll be fun. Um, I think that's about it. Ooh. And yeah, I'm excited I to can meet wait. the incorrect freshman. <laughs> like, I know I hated that. Okay, you're like, oh my god, you freshman, you were there. Yeah, but point. college is different. You're, you're, you know what you're doing. Everyone's on the same level at college. It's not like the freshmen yeah. are separated from the seniors. Oh yeah, to be honest yeah. with you. So, yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, once again, like I said, check out our other school videos down below mm -hmm. about FIT. Uh, there's quite a good amount of them. And if we you, hope you guys are staying safe, by the way, during this quarantine mm -hmm. whole coronavirus situation. Please be safe. Please stay home. Please follow all the rules, and so this thing could go away. As quickly as possible yes so definitely stay safe we love you guys so much and, and before we go our post notification oh. shout out will be on the screen thank you so much for having your post notifications on you. if you want them um on and you want to get a shout out comment down below that you have them on and, and then you might need a shout out for next week right yes. and that's it for this video we'll see you guys in our next video yep bye guys mm -hmm.